All right, this will be a very short video on how to use image burn. Uh, if you're one of the few that have stacks of blank DVDs still laying around, um, you can burn these ISO files uh, to DVDs. Um, to do this, you'll need uh, IMG burn, imgburn.com. Go to download. Uh, different mirrors you can download from. It's all the same file. Um, just download it and install it. And this is an extremely simple program to use. First, you'll need the ISO files. Uh, this is linked to uh, in the article. Uh, here's the actual URL if you're interested. Um, you go over here to ISO image. There's actually six of them. Uh, each one of these is configured so it will fit on a DVD when it's extracted. Um, so you download these. Um, you might note uh, these are very slow servers at archive.org for these type of large files. So it's even with a high speed internet connection, it's going to take an hour or so to download each um, ISO. Uh, so plan accordingly. Um, once you have these downloaded, all you do is launch uh, IMG Burn. Um, I thought I had some blank DVDs in the office here. I do not. They're all in storage. Uh, why I'm keeping them, I do not know. Um, so what you want to do is it's really, really simple. You pick out your source file. In my case, it's in Downloads and whichever. You open. That loads up the ISO file. Um, some data here. The destination. Uh, this would be a blank DVD. Uh, you can test if you want. Uh, verify. Um, actually, when it's done burning, it will uh, go back and reread the DVD to make sure uh, everything went properly. So I've loaded the source file. I've pointed it to my blank DVD. All you have to do is click here to write and uh, it'll do its thing. I'll let you know when it's done. Uh, also, this does take a while uh, because it's transferring a lot of data, um, but it's that simple. Uh, you'd pop in a new DVD, new blank one and go to your next ISO file. And that's all there is to it.